Lexington, KY. The party would end abruptly, I figured, as an angry chorus howled Saturday night. Radio broadcaster Tom Leach's voice had relayed the fourth quarter action between Kentucky and Florida on my drive to catch the scene at near campus bars. Could Kentucky hang on and end the 31 year losing streak? That was the question when, upon parking and running toward the party in the pouring rain, I heard a boom of negativity go off in unison. Surely, Florida had converted a long third down or scored. It was a safe bet. Assumptions in the series come natural, after last season's one-point heartbreaker, 2014's triple overtime gut punch, after three decades of blowouts and close ones and others that don't stand out. But Kentucky hadn't screwed it up. Instead, the television signal had gone out. More. Fans in Lexington celebrate UK's first win over Florida since 1980s. So with little more than six minutes remaining. With the Wildcats up 11 and Florida driving, people at Two Keys Tavern and Tin Roof and elsewhere listened to Leach's radio call and huddled around cell phones watching the streaming video. Twitter was at least a minute ahead of the live stream and outpaced Leach by probably 30 seconds. So, as Florida scored to cut the lead, the scene was a discombobulated mash of off-sequence reactions. Even when Kentucky stopped a Gators two-point conversion attempt, the mood was tense. And when Benny Snell ran for a first down to drain the clock, happiness was cut short as the play clock counted down to the impending doom of the next snap. Because, damn, Kentucky had lost this game every single year since 1986 and hadn't won in Gainesville since Jimmy Carter was president. The Gators won three national titles and eight Southeastern Conference championships during that span, so it's easy to excuse many of those defeats, though the 73-7 drubbing in 1994 was excessive. Florida also dominated rivals Georgia, Florida State, and Tennessee for spurts, too. But at least the Bulldogs, Seminoles and Volunteers had their share of moments in the national spotlight and some wins against the Gators. Coaches Steve Spurrier and Urban Meyer are two of the best ever. Kentucky couldn't possibly recruit or scheme at their level. But remember, Florida had three mediocre seasons under Ron Zook, drove off a cliff with Will Muchamp at the wheel and dismissed Jim McElwain amid embarrassment. Still, Kentucky could not beat the Gators. There was Danny Werfel's touchdown pass to walk on wideout Chris Dewaring with three seconds left to win in 1993. UK blew a 21-3 fourth quarter lead in 2003. The Wildcats entered the 07 matchup after beating No. 1 ranked LSU the week before. Controversy was created in 14 when the play clock appeared to run out before the Gators game tying touchdown. Every detail, when added up, equaled 31-0. Last season was perhaps the greatest disappointment of them all. The Wildcats blew a two-score lead in the fourth quarter, failed to cover Gators receivers on two touchdown passes, and a holding penalty pushed what would have been a close attempt at the winning field goal out of range. UK lost 28-27. Losing like that, and that many times, isn't healthy. But now coach Mark Stoops, Snell and these Wildcats can say they did it. Kentucky finally beat Florida. 27-16 at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium, where a sign near the field claims only the Gators come out alive, sending the patrons at bars in Lexington into a frenzy. Two girls hugged and laughed as they crashed to the floor. A group of guys took their shirts off and ran out into the rain. One guy threw up as he ran down the sidewalk, never breaking stride in a triumphant puke and rally, his next destination in the direction of Rock Estate Street. Stoops has beaten Louisville, in 2016, Tennessee, last season, and the Gators. And though it has seldom appeared easy, pretty or polished, his program has slowly progressed forward, winning seven games and appearing at bowls in each of the past two seasons. This streak, like Kentucky's 26 losses in a row to Tennessee snapped in 2011, is over. But the work isn't done. It never is. No. 18 Mississippi State and no. 
2024 South Carolina come to Kroger Field in the coming weeks. Goals for the Wildcats remain. Win 8 games. Hell, win more than 8 games. Anything, right now, is possible. Because for so many years, Florida represented rock bottom for terrible Kentucky campaigns or the roadblock between an average season and a good one. But that's no longer Kentucky's problem. Finally, against the Gators, the party raged deep into the night.